Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of What Does YOLO Mean To Me? My name is William Odate Lamte. I play the role of Flex. Zom Zayn. Oh, yeah, that comes your mind. Hey, baby, what's up? You're looking so sleek and beautiful today. Zom Zayn. Zom Zayn. What do you want, Flex? Um, I'll be coming by the court later to watch your No, trip. and you're not my boy. Stop acting up, girl. You're way too pretty for that. Look, I know you still want me, just that you want to stretch me smooth, but... Hey, boy. Just relax with the boy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? See, you know you're always going to be my boy. Here on What Does YOLO Mean To Me, we get to meet you, the fans, to discuss what the YOLO TV series means to you as an individual and the impact it has made on your life. And as well as touch on a few important adolescent sexual reproductive health issues and general health issues which were highlighted in the YOLO TV series. Remember, you can live a good life by sleeping under an insecticide-treated mosquito net to prevent malaria. Also, guys, to enjoy a good life in this COVID-19 era, we have to be cautious to stay safe. Always wear a face mask, wash your hands with soap and the running water. Do not hug or shake hands. Use your hand sanitizers, avoid touching your mouth and face, and show physical distance of at least two meters between you and others in public. And very importantly, avoid overcrowded places. You know what I'm saying? Here with me are five individuals. I'll let them introduce themselves and tell us why they love YOLO. Hello guys, I'm Imano Kujo and I'm 90 years of age. I'm a student in high school at East Coast College. I really love YOLO because YOLO has impacted our lives positively. And also, my favorite character in YOLO is Cyril because he's the ladies' guy. Hello everyone, I'm Emilia Namelikwe, 19 years of age, and I'm in the Ghana Institute of Journalism. I love YOLO because YOLO is really educational educative and entertaining. My favorite character is Emily. Yes, because I like the way she speaks, her smile, and everything about her. Hello, lovely people. I am Isaha Kushifal. You can call me Sheezy. I am 19 years old. I love YOLO because it's fun and educative. My favorite character in YOLO is Drogba because he's mostly the trouble cusser. Hello, my people. I'm Chris Dixon, 18 years of age, and I school at Nungwa Secondary School. My friends call me Black Boy Aram. My name is Afum Ophelia, but you can call me Queen Lyrics. I'm a student of Harvard Technical Institute. I'm 19 years old. The reason why I like YOLO is because it's very entertaining and very educated. Our topic for today is malaria. Let's check out these scenes from YOLO TV series. See, the woman says she know they for you. You know they see. Hey, if you have some pride like a man, then let it go. You dare hear the wrong woman. Has then carry the bestie of your life put ambulance inside the go hospital. You know here. Who that? Monster. He's saying malaria teaching you. Ah, why? What happened? What happened? How go no? Me a day the way I hear say your phone they bell plenty times. You can go check out monster in poppy. Charlie, he say them put monster for ambulance inside. They can go hospital. Ambulance. Charlie, I go check. Your friend they die. He they die. Hey, you hear the wrong woman? Betty, I'll call you. I'll call you. You call her for what? Yo, I come. Interesting. So what causes malaria? Oh, what I know is when someone is bitten by a female mosquito. Malaria is caused by a female Anopheles mosquito infected with Plasmodium parasite. Malaria is caused by the female Anopheles mosquito. Whenever we are bitten by this mosquito, we are infected by the malaria parasite known as the Plasmodium. Basically, the Plasmodium parasite causes malaria, but it can also be due to some environmental problems such as exposure to stagnant gases. The cause of malaria is when you are being bitten by a female anopheles mosquito. What are the symptoms of malaria? The symptoms of malaria are excessive headache, lack of appetite, fever, shivering, high body temperature and vomiting. Some symptoms of malaria are vomiting, headaches, loss of appetite, constant rise in temperature, a minimum. Some of the symptoms of malaria are um, fever, headache, vomiting, sometimes you sweat a lot and you get tired. Some of the symptoms of malaria are fever and shivering. 
So if you suspect you have malaria, what should you do? If you suspect you have malaria, I think you go to a nearby hospital and test for malaria. You immediately visit a nearby pharmacy or a doctor. When you notice you have malaria, you should move to the nearby clinic to get tested and treated as soon as possible. If you suspect you have malaria, you have to visit the nearby hospital and see a doctor rather than having self-medication. If you suspect that you have malaria, immediately you have to visit a nearby hospital or a clinic. Let's see what some youth in other parts of the country have to say about the topic. Okay guys, I'm Imano Koshi, also known as Koshi Samba. I'm 19 years of age. I'm a sister's graduate and I come from Achimoto. And so it's talk of malaria. Malaria is a serious life-threatening disease. That is brought by the mosquitoes and it can lead to the loss of life. And this is caused by a parasite, which is a plasmodium parasite. There are symptoms of malaria may include high fever, headache, sweating, vomiting, diarrhea and so many more. So if anyone shows some kind of these symptoms, that person should rush to a physician or a medical doctor for early treatment. Way to prevent malaria is sleep under a treated mosquito net. You can use insecticide repellent on the body or the area in which you find yourself. Go damp around and you should move cutie gardens because these are the main factors which brings about the mosquitoes in the area. What's wrong? And they feel very, very cold. You are very hot. Yeah. You carry the water come. Yeah. If I pour the water from my body, I could be okay. No, no, the way I'm shivering, I think you need to visit the sick bay. No, no. Just give me some pink and I will be fine. No, you need to visit the sick bay so that they can diagnose you and see what's wrong with you. Boy. No. No. See, I forget to the court for the game. Today be my first official match as a school team's captain. I know if he made this match, you know what I'm saying? Hey Max, I can see you. Okay, come. So how does malaria affect our good life? Let's say preventing us from achieving what we intend to do. For example, Flex missed the most important basketball match of his captainship. Okay, with this, I'll give a practical example. Assuming I won a scholarship to abroad to study and um, they've given me time, I mean dates for me traveling outside and within that time, I'm not well because of malaria. Then meaning I've lost this opportunity. I won't be able to go again. So with this, um, malaria, has made me lost a great opportunity. Let's assume you have a container that you're selling bags and styles. It's like you're not feeling well. You can't open that shop. You need to close that shop and go to the hospital or be in the house. That can mix everything down. Malaria affects us in various ways because whenever we are affected by malaria, the immune system is weak. That means we can't go about our daily activities like how we do them. So it retards progress, just like Flex in YOLO season five when maybe you have something better to do to achieve your goal then malaria will just come immediately then you cannot do anything again so we just spoil everything and just like flex makes one of his important basketball matches in yellow season five malaria can hinder you from getting to your job opportunities so how can we prevent malaria Malaria can be prevented by sleeping under treated mosquito net, using of mosquito repellent, and staying away from filthy environments. Okay, we can prevent malaria by using insecticide sprays, um, sleeping under treated mosquito nets, also having um, regular cleanup in your surroundings, such as like choke gutters and all that, yes. Malaria can be prevented in so many ways. For example, tidying up our environment and make sure we use insecticide. By sleeping under treated nets and not littering rubbish around. We can prevent malaria by distilling the two gutters and not littering around the environment. Let's see what some youth in other parts of the country have to say about the topic. Imagine a brother or a sister needed at the American Embassy tomorrow for an interview and all of a sudden gets infected 
and malaria. It will definitely prevent that person from living a good life and deny that person of living a dream. Some of the ways we can prevent malaria is by keeping our surroundings clean, most especially clearing choked gutters. And also, let's not forget to sleep under a well treated mosquito net. These are some of the ways we can live a good life. Good life. Live it all. Is it right for someone who has malaria to stop medication as soon as the person starts feeling better? Even if he or she has not completed the medication? Let us know what you think by sending us a comment via video or text to our social media page at YOLO TV series on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. So soon, we are almost at the end of today's show. It's time to take a message from your next presenter. Hello, my name is Krista Belewa Mwaving, known in Yolo as Lydia. Next week, make a date with me as we discuss interesting topics like sexual favors and parenthood. See you. Charlie, people come Hey, see how they are well behaved too. Charlie, you see, you see, you see how it's right that we charge gate fees. Eh, upload me. George, but there's still one problem. Why, what happened? Shika wants me to come upstairs with 10 girls, and he added 10 very beautiful girls. You did, Kaisi, I warn you. Do you remember? Charlie, see, this thing, you know, be any big problem there like that. Sometimes, then just they go give the girls money, then call cards. You don't say this be big men. They don't do in culture girls like that, so relax, you know, be any. I was the one in that room, and even me, I didn't have it easy with Shika. Guys, I'm scared. Oh, I wish we had some time to continue, but unfortunately, our time is out. I hope you had a good time and picked one or two lessons. Also, guys, to enjoy a good life in this COVID-19 era, we have to be cautious to stay safe. Always wear a face mask, wash your hands with soap and the running water. Do not hug or shake hands. Use your hand sanitizers, avoid touching your mouth and face, and show physical distance of at least two meters between you and others in public. And very importantly, avoid overcrowded places. You know what I'm saying? Make a date next week for another exciting episode. Remember to live a good life. Good life, live it well. Good life is an everyday thing. YOLO, you only live once. Zamzang. <laughs>